God bless you. The word of this month is being faithful in the little. And in Matthew chapter 25, verses 21, it says, His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master happiness. You know, God is faithful. He is and he will be. Are we 100% faithful to God? God has given us these hands for free. Our talents and our gift are set by God through His divine grace. The gift or the talents from God is for you. What have we done with our talents and with our gift? With the little that we have or with the much that we have to give back to God? For he has a lot, says God, for he that has a lot, says in the scripture, will be given more, but he will have more responsibilities and account to give before God. God give you, God won't take anything from you. God demands is in this to be faithful to him and in the little, because I will put you in a lot, says the Lord. He will trust you in all that he has for you and the things that he has given to you, in everything he will trust in you. Honoring God is a commitment and yes, is a cabinet or let's call it a pact we agree with God. That is who God is with us. We are talking about the king of kings who owns the gold and the silver and everything in this world. God gives you finances and those finances is to you to make a good use of it and give what it belongs to God to follow his opinions, what he says in the scripture. For example, he speaks about giving to him what it belongs, the 10% of your first fruits of all your salary and to donate to whoever he placed in your heart to give. This is a key that comes from God that gives you for open doors and to receive more from him. This is a law that God has left in this earth to us. In this, there is no exchange of what his law is and how it works in his kingdom. God is the same of yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and he will be forever. His words remain forever and is from generation through generation. If it is hard for you to give to God, how do you want God to give you or trust you in much that he has to give to you? And it also depends on what you are thinking or planning in your mind, because if you don't put or place in a good use of all God's resources, there is other side, and that is the other side that can lead you to your own destruction. That's why God sometimes he limits on how much someone receives. He knows the way to protect a person life by how much resources he is trusted to give a person and to earn that's why we must be faithful in the little your cabinet with god he keeps you is to protect you he extends you and with him you don't have no limits you start to know him more and you have more love for him because he is the one that he plays happiness and increase you while your soul prosper. You are the one that God has designed with a dream, a goal in this life and to be authentic, a person with such authentic that has placed inside of you in which is for his purpose and earn without limits. It's time of wind change. God keeps being whom he is. His throne is the same. He remains in heaven and from heights he governs this earth. Open your mouth and exalt him because if you don't do anything to bring glory in this earth, you will stay in the same place and we don't want to be in that same place, but rather to be where God has destined our future to be set. God is of change. God will never let you alone. He promised to you to get you out of any complex situation and be with you forever filling you with his love for you every day in your life. God is restoration. All that the enemy has taken away from you, God promised to bring you joy and give you the desire of your heart. It is the same who believes in you and he knows you and he knows in what you need and what are you depending on, on that something. But do you really want to get close to God and leave what is not suitable for you, what is corrupting your soul and is breaking you down? Because 
it is a personal decision at least you want to stay longer in that same situation of struggles and exhaustions and feeling empty god gives talents for you to develop and it is from him by his grace and he also gives these talents or gifts how he pleased having this gift from god you are responsible for expanding it that it would require you to study more doing a good use of your talents and gift for the purpose of god with the greatest intention of bringing glory to god through giving to others as a service don't forget this part of freely says in the scripture freely you have been given and freely you receive and this is the grace of god of giving talents and gifts we don't need to take advantage of this like those who exploit others for their own gains for example this is an this is the part of god through his vessels if god has given you the anointing of to operate of in healing is the meaning that God moves through that vessel with the power of healing by his vessel restoring those people's lives. Another example, if God has given you the anointing a special voice for singing and you have for such a thing of singing, you're going to have to practice, take lessons, take time for daily practices to develop those skills but you already know your goal and your goal is to honor God by serving him as he wants you to be used. Talents can be humble and also extraordinary if you have a special voice, not specifically you have to dedicate yourself singing in public, but you can start there in a small space or place singing alone where you are at. You're, you benefit first in yourself what God has given to you and it's up to you if you want to do it in public but when God has prepared you already it is when you choose to accept if you want to be doing it in public for the service of God's purpose you know did you know also that doing this and working with your talents and gifts this attracts God's angel do you know that because this is a divine grace coming from God, coming from above, and it's God using you in that is willing, inducing you in those talents and gifts, and this is what we call the grace of God. Because it is God's grace giving you talent or gift, the ones that God gave you that activates his power in you, and sometimes that power can operate or manifest by itself automatically without you realizing that you have it and so we can mention how talents are at the disposal in favor for the kingdom of god remember let's not be like the last man that says in the scripture his master asked for his gains but he got filled with fear became lazy and buried his talent and became empty and he had nothing to give to his master and that is how and that's how his master got upset of him nothing to give him back and remember that we have a great king to serve we were made to bring him glory his name is jesus and this is a name that is above other name and uh, we need to give him glory in everything that we bring to him we need to, to exalt him remember that the name of jesus christ is above all names that is above all principalities powers rulers governors in this world that rises against us and there is not match for god in his name every knee must bow says in the scripture and confess that jesus christ is our lord today god tells you to trust and he will show you more of his name more of his power come to me he says and i will answer you i will clean you up by restoring your soul first and the rest you will be in his favor and on his set time that he has prepared for you he also says that he has placed something in you that favor is for my use use it you are responsible for how you use it you even benefit this first from the gift of god you first has given this talents and gift in you 
God has given you a favor, a unique talent, gift, examine yourself, God will speak to you in your heart and will emphasize what you have given inside of you and that is so authentic and special from Him, from God. Keep it safe today and always. Remember to protect everything what God has given to you. As I said, sending a big hug that you may have a great month. Greetings and we will see you in the next videos.